by Michigan and Ohio State. They are inside 90 seconds to play now, and Ohio State is going to end Michigan's bid for a perfect Big Ten record. 37-21, the Buckeyes are going to wash away some of the bad taste from their 6-4 season coming in by getting their seventh win of the year, 37-21. Working our way toward Iowa and Wisconsin. And after this, Wisconsin will be able to get into the Rose Bowl if they can beat Iowa. Guys, got about five seconds. What do you look for in this Story game? Story is Drew Tate. Ten touchdowns, only four interceptions. Can he get it done? The Wisconsin defense. Can Erasmus James and those guys get it done after last game? And we'll keep you up to date on Alabama-Auburn as well. But now Wisconsin and Iowa. All right, Reese, the atmosphere here in Iowa City at Kinesi Stadium is absolutely electric. Here's why. It basically boils down to a Big Ten championship game. These are the current standings, but Ohio State is poised to win, which means that Wisconsin, if they win, they go to the Rose Bowl. If Iowa wins today against Wisconsin, they would earn a share of the Big Ten title. It has been a compelling season in the conference. Well, it's not exactly ESPN HD, but every fan tailgating here in Iowa City keeping close eye on the Ohio State-Michigan game, and it looks like they're going to get their result, a Buckeye win with just seconds to go. It is senior day, which means that Matt Roth, one of 15 seniors, is ready to pump up the volume and ready to hear it from the hometown fans. They have won 17 straight games here at Kinnick Stadium. It has been a torture chamber for visiting teams. Number nine, Wisconsin against number nine at number 17, Iowa. Big things on the line for both teams. Hello, everybody. I'm Mark Jones along with Bob Davey. Thanks for coming aboard. The importance magnitude of this game growing by the second. Bob, last week, Wisconsin faced a very good rushing attack in Michigan State. This week against Iowa, a different type of challenge. Well, Mark, Wisconsin's defensive game plan is obvious. Put a target on Iowa's quarterback, Drew Tate, and find a way to harass him all afternoon. Because Iowa cannot run the football, that sounds pretty simple. But the problem, Drew Tate is the hottest quarterback in the Big Ten right now. This guy is amazing at avoiding the rush and making plays down the field. Mark, I'm going to give you a strong statement right give off the me. bat. This guy reminds me of a young Doug Flutie. Ooh. Looking for maybe a Hail Mary today from Tate. Who knows? Big things on the line in just a few moments on senior day. Who's going to take the Big Ten? We'll find out. Mike Allen is 10 of 17 on the season. But he has missed four of his last six. This one will be coming from 47 yards away. And keep in mind, Iowa blocked two field goals two weeks ago against Purdue. Another miscue. And it's incomplete. The Hawkeyes come up with a big play of their own. Why do we want a playoff in college football? <laughs> it proves that every game matters and how about the electricity Matt in Roth amping up the meter a little bit there it's electric even more so now Matt Roth with his eighth sack of the season and this is a mentally tough Iowa football team as we look at Norm Parker this football team and particularly Norm Parker have been through so much they showed their mental toughness two turnovers bouncing back well, they had a fumbled snap on the last field goal attempt. This is Mike Allen from 51 yards out. They get it down this time with the wind at his back. He pushes it to the right. The Badgers 0 for 2 in special teams right now, and that one had a chance. An inauspicious beginning for Barry Alvarez in his quest for the Big Ten title. We'll be back. Wisconsin's been on a roller coaster. Their motto has been find a way. Drew Tate looking for a way complete down to the 12-yard line. Once again, it's Scott Chandler for the first down on a pickup of 17. Drew Tate rolling out. Touchdown, Hawkeye Solomon.
crucial third down and two. Booker Stanley, his understudy. Touchdown, Badgers. Excellent pass rusher in the game to replace him. Third down and short. Tate in trouble. Looking downfield. Solomon, touchdown. And who can't be an Iowa fan if you watch the work of this man, Kirk Ferentz, the head coach, now in his sixth year. Started off one and ten his first year, then three and nine, then the seven and five. They got over the hump a little bit. Then eleven and two in 2002. They go to the Orange Bowl, and then ten and three a season ago. Bob, he told us last season at ten and three that he thought they overachieved. So what do you call this year? when they go what five tailbacks deep all the injuries on the offensive line it's no wonder that his name constantly pops up when NFL openings come up Mark I'll tell you what if you have to cast a vote for coach of the year right now in college football I don't know that that's possible and they think they talk about Auburn or Oklahoma controversy how about who's the coach of the year including this guy right here Barry Alvarez right Barry Alvarez and Kirk Ferentz the respective head coaches who not that long ago, Bob, we're on the same staff here at Iowa working for head coach Hayden Fry. There's a look at, uh, ooh, how far back are we going, 86? I'll tell you what, that is a heck of a coaching staff right here. I think Hayden Fry won something like 12 or 13 straight against Wisconsin at one point while he was here at Iowa. There's Bill Snyder up in the uh, top row in the back left. A pretty good staff, as you mentioned. And also Dan McCarney right here, the head coach at uh, Iowa State. A couple of the top coaches in the country right there. Barry Alvarez on the left and Kirk Ferentz on the right. And let's go downstairs to Holly. Coach, what did you and your players know about the Ohio State Michigan results before the game? Oh, absolutely nothing. Only aim us for paying attention. Oh, well, you know, they announced it was kind of hard to ignore that, but uh, it's really it has no bearing on this game. We're trying to win a football game. How does it change though that you're now playing for a piece of the championship? Doesn't change the thing. We our whole objective today was to win our ninth game, seventh game in the conference. That's all we're worried about right now. We got our hands full. All right, thanks. We're Kirk. looking forward to it though. Happy to embrace the challenge. Find a way. That has been their motto and credo all year long. 14-7 at the break. Now let's join Reese in Tallahassee. Reese. 13-yard <laughs> pickup. Inside handoff. Booker Stanley stopped up immediately by Matt Roth. See if Wisconsin's good enough to beat it. Stocko. Picked off. At the 42-yard line, Javon Johnson. And a late flag. We're going to have a personal foul against somebody. Javon Johnson with his third pick of the season and once again an asterisk because there are two fouls on the play dead ball personal foul number 98 of the defense dead ball personal foul number 53 of the offense both penalties will automatically offset the result of the play Iowa First down. Over the middle and picked off. Considine. Third down and goal. Touchdown, Chandler. Mark, you're seeing the next great Big Ten quarterback in Drew Tate. First and ten. Stocko. Looking to make a play. Stocko brought down at the 26 and he fumbled it. Hawkeye ball. Wow. Tyler Luke, he recovers. Is this one coming from 31 yards out? And he drills it home, increasing the Iowa lead to 17 points. Can they hang on for a share of the Big Ten title with Michigan? 
the Hawkeye Nation approving right now. Kirk Ferentz saying that uh, the turnaround point, the pivotal point of the season for them was after that Arizona drilling that they took down in the desert in Scottsdale. He told the team afterwards in the locker room, hey, we have to start practicing much better. We have to start playing much better. We have to start acting like a team. And they took his lead. And then during their bye week, another turning point for that. And he said that he challenged the defense to start creating more turnovers. They responded in kind, zealously. Fourth and one. And no Bernstein at the game in the game at fullback, Mark. Stanley, they didn't get it. The defense comes up big for Iowa. And Mark, without Bernstein in there, you try to take the football off the line of scrimmage. And you have to wonder about that call with the penetration Iowa was able to get. And that's the last play of the third quarter. The Iowa Hawkeyes, 28-0 and leading after three periods, right now just 15 minutes away from earning a share of the Big Ten title. Second down and ten. Pressure coming off the edge. Tate completes the pass for the first down to Matt Malloy. Now Schlicker in to attempt the field goal from 21 yards out. Straight butter. Way Greenway pressuring. Played eight-man football in high school back in South Dakota. Second down and ten. Greenway again, caused the fumble, and it's picked up by Babineau. Babineau wants six. And Joe Thomas saved the touchdown. Seven minutes to go on fourth down. This one coming from 34 yards out. He's two for two already today. Did I say three for three? Schlicker the kicker. Tacks three more on the board, and Kirk Ferentz's team on the verge of improving to 9-2. You know, just a year ago, they are known as the gurus of zone blocking. Do a tremendous job in the run game. And now they throw it because they have to. On senior day, Bob, a scene of jubilation on the sidelines. Matt Roth with the war paint on. 15 seniors in all with their final home appearance. And you can almost hear the fans down on South Dubuque right now starting to celebrate. Here they fans come, Mark. Will storm the field. The final score here, 30 to 7. Goalposts have come down. Phoenix Stadium, an ocean of black and yellow. What an incredible journey for the Iowa Hawkeyes this year. Everybody thought that they were going to have a subpar season after those aforementioned injuries and after they got drilled in the desert by Arizona State. But Kirk Ferentz held the ship together. With the help of a precocious sophomore quarterback right there, Drew Tate. The final score once again, 30 to 7. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. Coming up next, scores and highlights on College Game Day scoreboard. On Senior Day, success for Iowa. From all of us here in Iowa City, here's Reese in Tallahassee.